So now I want to talk about the BabyLock Venture. Performance meets technology. See, this is a machine that is a professional level of machine. It's made for commercial work, commercial embroidery. It has a, a solid a steel rotary hook system that can take the wear and tear. It has 10 needles and every needle is supported by a, a foot. So every time it comes down, it supports the stitch so it can embroider on thicker material. Uh, it can take more wear and tear. It also has an open arm. Now, there are many commercial machines like this out on the market, but the thing about this machine, it also has the technology. But the benefit of this, I'm gonna talk more about the open arm and what it can do. Because there's all kinds of different hoops and tools that have been designed for this machine to embroider the unhoopable. And so I wanna show you some of the different options that are available for this here. And so let's go ahead and take a look. That was a long walk, George. It was a long walk. <laughs> so the, the thing about this here is that we're gonna look at the machine closer, but it does have an open arm. And what, ha what happens when you have an open arm embroidery, you can work with all kinds of different types of tools. So let's take a look at this here. Uh, and, and these are options and we'll go over what comes with it and but we can customize it first of all i love this right here is the sleeve frame allows you to embroider on a sleeve or pant leg uh, uh, right without taking the seam apart and that's a real popular item here um, because the machine has an open arm things like backpacks you know i went to the dollar store and this was guess the price it wasn't a dollar was no. 99 cents. <laughs> but deal. Deal. But <laughs> I, I, I mean, you know, of course, you unzip this here. And because I can work with an open arm and the hoop, I did, did a monogram on this. You know, this, now that it's monogrammed, I could easily sell this for 10 bucks. You could sell that for at least more than a dollar. Well, definitely. Maybe yeah. 199 maybe so, <laughs> 9 dollars No, you can sell it for more. <laughs> but the point is, is that it, it may be something you're thinking about for a business, but just for gifts. Now this one right here, I love this. This is a clamp hoop, it has a four by four area. And when you look closely on this, it actually has a, a two surfaces. One that has more of a, uh, like a Velcro uh, material. And the other one's more like a squeegee because some, some uh, items leave a mark. Uh, and so you, you want to be uh, use the item that doesn't. And it, what happens, it comes out and it clamps on that bag. And so it's much easier to hoop and I can fit this on the open arm and embroider. So if you'd bought multiple bags, you could just do them one right after the other. You could work up a sweat doing embroidery. That's what's the benefit of this here is that it, it's much easier. Uh, this is actually one that I embroidered myself as a lunch bag and I embroidered it right on the open arm. Uh, there's a series of small compact hoops. Look at that, to be able to embroider on a, on a, a coin purse. Hats, they have three different types of hat frames and the hat frames actually work in a circular manner. So we can embroider through the whole area. They even have some that does 360 degrees. Look at this shoe frame. I mean, so you never know what project you're gonna do and you never know what you need. And because it has that open arm and because you have so many options, you can really customize it. Now, Kathy, is that, is that like ultra suede on that bag? So here's, here's the thing. So a lot of these hoops that you've shown, they have a clamp system, they have a top, they have a bottom. So this is kind of a velour kind of fabric. So if I was to put this in any kind of a hoop, what it would do is it would leave what we call hoop burn. It would leave a mark. Okay. So this would be an ideal candidate for those dirky, the hoopless frames oh, that you showed right. because you're going to put that sticky uh, material in the frame uh -huh. and then this is just going to fit right on top of that no hoops going to be on the top and you're going to be easily embroidering it and don't have to worry about hoop so, art. so maybe i should include some dirky hoops. you should probably you know i'm going to think about step that. it up and I'm you gonna, probably uh, should put some dirky frames in I, there. i'm going to think about that okay <laughs> now you mentioned that this machine is a uh, professional grade yes. right well i'm not a professional embroiderer i mean i could be but gosh you i, do I have so much fun playing with you yeah. doing here things so yeah. i think that if you are a embroiderer and you, you use your machine night and day, day and night, night and day, you know who you are, you know who I'm talking to you. I like to embroider and I like to do big projects. So I brought a quilt to show you what I've done on my 10 needle Wonderful. machine and I'm going to tell you why I did it. So here's the quilt that I brought. 
And you can see there's a whole bunch of embroidery on this quilt. I don't know if you can see the amount of it, but there's a ton of embroidery. Now, a couple reasons I did this on my tin needle. Number one, all of these designs, less than 10 colors. So once I threaded it up for all of these designs, I just pushed go and it automatically changed threads for me from one color to the other. The other reason is you can notice that these designs repeat. Now this machine has the capacity to do what we call a connect feature. So when I'm connecting this design to this, I can tell the machine I'm going to do that and it's automatically going to bring this next design up and automatically connect it even when I rehoop. If you can see that design around the top, can you see the satin stitch on the top where it's the, there you go. Good job, gentlemen. If I had missed one to the other, you could really see in that satin stitch where it broke. But it just connected them beautifully. I can't reach it, but just trust me, it connected them beautifully, and I had one just join right after the other. Now, this is a ton of embroidery. Let me tell you a secret of what I did. When I did this quilt, I set everything up, the machine was already ready when I was uh, pulling up my colors. It remembers from one color to the next. What I would do, I would set everything up, I'd start my machine, and I'd go to bed. And the machine was quilting, <laughs> embroidering while I was sleeping. It automatically changed colors. While I snoozed, it embroidered. Now, if anything goes wrong, the machine automatically stops. I wake up in the morning, either it was finished, if something went wrong, I just fix it and let it go again. So I embroidered a lot of this quilt in my sleep. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, there's a feature that's going to help you, and I'll, I'll get to that. So let's go back okay. to the presentation. <laughs> I don't recommend embroidering in your sleep, but with this machine, you can just let it do its own project here. So, so many incredible things. So uh, I, I, sh I showed the different hats, but they also have a new flat brim hat hoop and these are all options available for this and the flat brim hat hoop allows you the ability to get much closer to those real popular hoops that have the flat flat brim that's what they call the flat brim hat hoop um, but the thing about this is this machine is not only a performance machine and by the way a lot of you are thinking about using a machine for business but a lot of you are the enthusiasts that are using your regular machine to death you're just putting so many stitches on it and this the the baby lock venture has the ability to be used virtually 24 hours a day so this is the machine for the enthusiasts as well as those who want to make money with it but the big thing about it it has the features of the solaris so there's technology on this that we haven't had on the older models and so the capability on this is amazing. Now, here's what I was going to say, Kathy. It actually has a monitoring app. This is a Wi-Fi product. So it would tell you when there's a thread change. It, would, it, won't, it won't set an alarm to wake you up when you're ready. Well, I just put my phone by my bed, and if something happened, I'd wake up out of my dream and fix it. It would tell you what, where to, the next thread color. I could get even more done that way, George. Yep. This is a new app because this is a Wi-Fi product. In fact, uh, it has a new alert feature, so if it's time to change the thread or there's a thread break, it flashes and it shows you on the screen what color, what spool to change. So there's 10 different uh, needles, uh, and, and, also, and by the way, they have a needle threader. There, there are some uh, multi-needle machines that you have to thread each needle yourself. I can't see those anymore, so this has that. Um, but also, with Pallet 11, you can connect up to 10 BabyLock Ventures and do 10 different projects or 10 of the same project. So if you're thinking of business, you can take this to the next level. George, don't forget, with Palette 11, you also have a name drop feature. And what that does is say you're going to do a bunch of towels uh, for like a golf team or yes. something like that. You could literally bring in a spreadsheet with all of the golfers' names spell check in your spreadsheet just saying yes. ask me how i know yep, yep. <laughs> and it'll send each one of those devices individually to one machine or up to 10. and it does it via wi-fi so again that's there for productivity and palette 11 takes this to the next level so there are built-in video instructions that, so there's uh, videos on how to do the hats how to do the designing how to operate but also Baby Lock has what's called the Sew at Home or Sew Education program, where it's, they are offering a 60-day trial membership with any purchase. So you can go to Love of Knowledge, which is another uh, term for it, and, and check out some amazing videos on how to operate the different products. 
Now this also has the IQ designer uh, built into it. So we showed you a little bit on the Solaris 2, but this also has that capability where you can scan an image in and from there you have artwork where you can fill in and apply different uh, types of fills and different angles and even edit down to the stitch and paint with it to create an amazing project. I actually have the sample I'm going to show you up close on it. Um, and it has 36 decorative fills that gives you amazing capability to customize your projects. You also have that quilt border feature. We have 20 borders where you can do even some that are multicolor and you can do quilt sashing right on the machine. Now this part of what, what Kathy was showing you was placing and doing continuous embroidery. And one of the things about this, it has a, a, a true IQ, they call it IQ technology, where it looks exactly on the quilt and you can position your embroidery exactly where you want to in, in real life. And so I'm going to show you a little bit about that here. And then there is that optional uh, a, a magnetic sashing frame, which I love, not just for quilts, but for bulky fabrics here. So let me go ahead and show you a few uh, items here. Uh, let's first of all, we're going to look over at this machine here. And as you see, here's the open arm. So we'll, let's uh, look closer here. And so this makes it so that I can embroider the difficult items here. And here is that metal bobbin system. And so what you have is you have 10 needles. And I'm going to just really quickly, if we look uh, down here, I'm just going to go from one side to the next. So see, this machine can rotate from back and forth. And what happens, it changes to a different color, but yet it has an automatic needle threader for every one of those. Can you imagine threading 10 needles? This has that as well. Now, when we look at this here, let's go ahead and let's go home. And what I'm going to do is let's bring up a design on the screen. So we're going to look at the screen here closer. And I'm going to take quite a large design. So we see on the screen here, this is uh, eight by, just about eight by, by 11, okay? This still has all those functions that we have on the Solaris. I can size it and it gives me the ability to adjust the size and it will recalculate the stitches. So I can adjust the size and I can go 70% smaller that's a big design and I can adjust it smaller. Uh, and even a lot of your software programs don't give you that capability. So now I also have the color visualizer here, just like I showed you on the Solaris. And let's show some soft color uh, combinations. And I can come back in here and I can choose my uh, favorites. Let's refresh that there. I think I like that one. Okay, and then I can see all my favorites and I can audition them and go, Actually, probably it's that one. So I have the capability of doing that. Now, I also want to take, let's go home here. And I want to take this here and stitch out uh, one of the fonts. Uh, let's take, it has these large fonts. And I'm going to take this one right here. So that letter M for more is here. And I have different sizes. I can actually take this here and size it as well. And just like the other one, I can size it and go 70% smaller. Okay. Now, uh, I can also take this and send an image of that to my IQ designer. And I can send that in the memory. Because I want to do a background fill. So let's add from my IQ designer. And now I have my shape. And we have it right there. So there's the letter M in the exact size. And then I want to add a smaller frame. I don't want to, uh, that copy and paste. I, just, I like the fact that I have undos here. So let's go ahead and do a smaller frame. Okay, let's do that one. This one right here. Okay, so now what I want to do is take this and add a custom fill. So just like what we saw on the Solaris, I have these, these cool capabilities and um, there's all different ones you can use. And let's use the fill. Okay. And then I go next and I can set that in the hoop 
and I actually have that. Let's zoom in on this here. I actually have that stitched out or something similar. I use a different background fill. Because see, I have the power of the technology right here. Now let's go to something else here. Go home. Now let's do something as simple as taking a letter and we've got all different types of fonts. Actually it has 36 different fonts. Let's take this here and let's use a uh, letter B for baby lock. And I have the automatic applique creator, but I can actually do the applique creator in all different shapes without having to do my own step. I can, I can first of all have it just randomly around it, but let's go ahead and choose a circle and I can size that around there. So it's actually going to create a patch. But speaking of patches, you can actually multiply this and create something that you can use for production, okay? And we can adjust the size of the spacing. Uh, so if I want to increase the, the spacing here and the spacing here. And what happens is that when we do an applique is that it will actually so, and I can place a piece of fabric in there, and if I stitch that on water-soluble stabilizer, I've just made a whole bunch of patches automatically. Now, let's do another thing on this here. You saw on the video the fact that you have the scanning bed, and the scanning bed scanned this. This is a drawing of an octopus that my daughter actually did. Uh, the results of this is quite amazing. I mean, the, the shading and the density of this here, it did an amazing job, but it's all with the features built in. But IQ Designer also has a lot of tools right in the machine. And so let's go ahead and go to IQ Designer and let's bring in some shapes. So we're gonna take this here, here's my shapes, and I have all kinds of built-in shapes. We're gonna use this one right here. And on the screen here, this is just artwork. So I have the capability to manipulate it and size it without any restrictions. So we have that here. And I've got a little stylus I wanna work with. Now, what we wanna do here is we want to apply a fill or actually an outline. We're gonna use this little feather stitch as the outline here. So we'll choose a color. And then if I take this here, here's my paint bucket. It fills every one of those. And I can change the size later. But then we want to go ahead and put a fill stitch in there. And so let's go in and choose from all the different fill stitches. We're going to use these circles, actually. And now, again, the paint bucket. Okay. So now here's the uh, next thing we're going to do. Let's take a shape. It's just a lot of fun, but all these tools that you have, you can really create some amazing things. Now this is a shape, let's see, one, two, that's a, I think a hexagon shape. I had to count all the sides here. Um, so we're gonna size this down. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so we can see it. So it's just a simple shape. Okay, so we're gonna take this here and I'm gonna copy and paste. And see, I can move this and manipulate it. Actually, how am I gonna do this here? I'm looking at my diagram here. So let's say we wanna make something more of an abstract. So we can move this here. Let's just copy and paste right here. And then do another one. There we go. Okay, and then let's do another one. So you can see it's kind of like, like a cube. And I, and I can actually take this here and I can move it down a little bit at a time. Okay, so now uh, what I wanna do here is let's take and make this a satin stitch. And so I can take this here and every one of these are gonna be satin stitch. I think it's all filled now. And let's do a regular fill stitch 
And you can change the color of the side. Okay, so now I can go and center that. In fact, I want to make sure that's centered. So let's let's go ahead and choose my um, my select tool here. And I have all different types of ways of selecting it. And what I want to do is because it's kind of in the way, I can actually draw. And now I selected that, and I can just move that center, the whole shape. So what we have here is we have what I created right here. All kinds of abstract things you can do, but you have the tools to create some really amazing embroidery. Now, we can also quilt with this here, and I want to show you something here. We're going to come over to this machine right here. And so this right here, and if we could take a closer look on this here, this is the sashing frame. I'll stand over here so you can see it. Let's see if we can zoom in on this here. First of all, it does come with this supporting table, and I use that for the bigger hoops, but the sashing frame has this high ridge, and it has the same uh, magnets that we had on the other hoop that I showed with the Solaris 2. But this is not just for quilts, although I'm going to use it for a quilt. This is for blankets and jacket backs and things that you might want to, uh, that are bulky that you might want to work with. So what we have, you, you saw the quilt that I had before. So what I'm going to do here is I have one that's in progress. And we're going to take this here. And let's see, where do I want to embroider this? I think it's right here. Oh, we're going to do it right here. So let's take this. And I'm going to just take this here, position this a certain area. And what I want to do, I want to pick something that you could see uh, that I have embroidered. OK, so I'm going, to, I'm going to scan this block here. See, what's nice about this here is that this uh, hoop, it holds the quilting block beautifully for you. And I can, I can once I put it on, I, what happens is that I can manipulate it. So I'm not locked in. So it holds it securely. But see, so often you want to be able to take this here and you want to be able to hold it on here. Now I can have these on the sides or on the center. You also have the smaller ones. So you can see what I'm doing is I'm, I'm taking this and I'm sizing this up so that it really holds it securely. Okay. So think about the different projects you've had where you've had a lot of bulk. Boy, this, this really holds that on nice. And, and you tried to hoop it and then you had to unhoop it. And so with this here, it really does a nice job. So that, that's secure in there. And what I want to do is I want to take this here and we're going to go to IQ Designer and we're going to do image scan. And so what this does is it's going to take a picture of my quilt. And it does it in a way it gives, it's going to give exact representation of the quilt. And so what I do on the screen is I can place my stitches. I can place motifs. I can place custom fills. You truly can work with this here. And we'll, we'll show you. Uh, shortly. So uh, you, uh, the image is creating is what gives me the ability to truly quilt on this machine. So I can do this with large quilts. I can do this with other images as well. So uh, as you see on the screen, and I'm going to make this darker so you can see it. So on the screen, there's my quilt block. And I want to take this here and I want to work with that blue area right here. But what I want to do here is let's make it a little lighter so you can see it and we'll zoom in. So when we zoom here is we can actually see I want to actually take and draw a motif line. OK, so I can take this here and I can choose. Let's just choose what this. Um, it's like a, a. It's a decorative stitch. OK, so we'll take a decorative stitch here. And I can actually draw right on the screen. And um, we'll go ahead and take this. Okay. 
and I want to move it over here so it's like a pan feature. Okay, now I can continue around if I want, but if I go next, it actually will turn that into the stitch. Now let me zoom in here, see if the camera can see that. So you can see there is that stitch. Now I can change that if I want. I can actually change that right now without having to redraw that. I can make it a, zoom in on that there. I like that, the leave stitch right there, which is nice. So now let's go to the next screen and I want to draw and we're going to do another line. And this time we're going to do it where it's not a fill stitch, it's just a reference. And I'm going to take this here and um, we'll go ahead and zoom in again. And I can take and do one little stitch here and then pan over. This time I'm going to do the, the whole area because we're going to apply a fill stitch. down so I can see it here. Okay, and then go over to here. Okay, so now I can take this here and well, let's see, what, what fill stitch do I want to use? Let's do this one. See, again, I like the fact that I have these te technology features that I would normally only find on the other, like the Solaris or other machines, but in a professional style machine. Now, when we go next here, now it shows me on the screen in actual stitches, and I can adjust the size. I can have an outline or not. I can change to be a closer size. But now let's go ahead and set this in a hoop. And this is what's really cool. So on the screen here, this is what I stitched. But how do I know it's going to be right there? So I can actually go to sew it right there. And I can bring up my camera. And it's going to show on the screen. In fact, let's bring it to the larger area. And I'm going to actually come to the base of it here. So we can take this and go to the bottom right. So I can see there where it's going to stitch. And if you see that there, it's slightly off based on the shifting of the fabric. Well, I can move it and position it. And I can go different uh, uh, speeds. But I can move that. The, this is how Kathy was able to do continuous embroidery. I can see to the stitch, if you can see that, that's going to stitch right on that patchwork. So truly, I can use this as an, a quilting machine. So as you see, this is an amazing machine, high performance, awesome technology, and it's something that a lot of our customers are moving to the next level, and this will, the Baby Lock Venture will do this. And we've got an incredible uh, price on it, uh, interest-free financing, uh, we, we are giving amazing trade-in allowances. A lot of our people are moving up to this. You'd be surprised how much we can do and give you as a trade-in allowance. In fact, uh, there's so much savings that you, you just got to call us. 1-800-865-9664. Leave a message and one of my staff members will go through what this package includes and the special prices. And we also have some incredible trade-in allowances.